Sometimes you can even basically hit it with a one, two, you know, like that. Just hit it. And I give you bread! Woo! <laughs> Welcome back, guys. I know it has been a minute. Gosh dang it. While you guys are quarantined at home, I have been working seven days a week. Actually, in the past 14 days, I've worked 13. But I am off today, and I'm here to make a video, and there's nothing better that you can do at home then learn how to make some homemade bread. Now, the reason we're doing this, because it's such a pandemic right now, everybody's buying everything out, there might be stuff to buy to make bread when there runs out of bread, especially because you can stock up on it right now. So here's what you're gonna need to do this. You're gonna need some flour. You're gonna need some dry yeast. Comes in these little small packets. I didn't know that. You're gonna need some salt. Very small amount of salt, but we have a box. And you're gonna need some sugar and some canola oil. Say that with me, canola oil. All right, let's get to mixing. Two thirds cups of sugar, two and a half approximately tablespoons of yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one fourth cup canola oil, six cups of flour. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna add this uh, dry yeast and some sugar to uh, two cups of warm water and then um, mix it up so it's supposed to get foamy with us and they don't give me much room I mean I should have probably put this in a bowl but hey uh, you know maybe my wife will clean my mess up for me <laughs> Also, while we're waiting five minutes for that to foam, I did start using TikTok. I know, I know, don't hate me. I'm actually having fun with it. So, if you wanna check it out, it's just my name, type it into TikTok, you know, and just, <laughs> But for real, I can do TikToks even when I'm working seven days a week, it's easy. These take time. I'm gonna try to get back to more because whatever, but we're super busy at work. Alrighty, so we got nice and foamy. So we're gonna put this in a mixing bowl. And then now we're gonna add our salt and oil. And um, we're, then we're gonna start mixing it and then we're gonna add in like a cup of flour at a time. All right, so like I said, we're gonna add in like one cup of flour at a time, let it stink and spank this flour up and uh, you know. Gosh, dang it. Oh, oh, yeehaw, yeehaw. Uh, I don't have a little side guard, so I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't uh, screw me. <laughs> now for the fun part. We gotta take some flour and sprinkle it onto a surface. <laughs> and uh, we gotta basically get the surface ready to put the bread on because the next, wow, I just got flour all over me. The next best thing we get to do, probably the best part of this whole thing, it is time to spank the flour. We're gonna really put it on this counter and we're gonna really give it a hard slap. All right, you're gonna get one of these fancy majiggers and you're gonna try to get all this stuff to come out. It's super sticky right now, so. <clears throat> oh, look at it, look at it, look at it, all right. And then you're gonna slap that dough. Slap it! All right. Um, so now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on top of it. Yee, 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 yee. And then we're gonna bring it in from all sides. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep doing this until it's not sticky to the touch anymore. So just keep bringing it over, bringing it over, bringing it over, bringing it over, bringing it over. Until you want, then uh, you'll be able to um, to touch it and it won't be sticky. Now that it's not sticky to the touch, you're gonna get your hands and you're just gonna kinda keep folding it in and just really just beat that dough, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes sometimes you can even basically hit it with a one, two, you know, like that, just hit it. And it just really gets in there, you know what I'm saying? Maybe some hammer fist. You gotta beat your dough. Go ahead, try it. Amazing. That's awesome. All right, let's keep beating this dough and then we'll be ready for the next step. 
Welcome back. So now that our dough is a nice flat surface and it's kind of stretchy, this is exactly what we want after you spank your dough. We're gonna get a bowl and you're gonna spray it very, very well with um, nonstick spray, okay? So then you, got, you wanna set your dough into the nonstick spray. And you gotta kinda flip it a couple times so you make sure that it's all covered, right? Once it's all covered, you're gonna get a damp towel and you're just gonna set it over the top of the bowl like yay, like ye, and then it's gonna sit for an hour. And guess what, guys? It's time for a change of scenery. So now that your dough has risen, we're pretty much gonna get you a very large knife. Um, let's see, this, this'll work, this'll work. And you're gonna stab it. So now that we got our dough cut into two separate pieces, we're gonna roll it out until it's, um, like we, it's gotta be a good thickness still though, but we're gonna roll it a little bit until it's uh, a decent thickness and then we're gonna, um, roll it into different pieces. So we've cut into two separate pieces. Now we're gonna take the piece and you kind of flatten it out just a little bit. Then you're gonna roll it up, roll it up, throw it in the pan. Psycho. Okay, so once you roll it into a nice, um, you can come up with a name for that. You're gonna go like this, and you're gonna karate chop on both ends and then you're gonna fold it in, right? So it gives you this nice little dough ball looking thingy. And then we're gonna put here, boom. And it's gotta rise for 20 to 30 minutes, so we're gonna put that towel back over it to let it rise. And then uh, then we'll be throwing it in the oven to get the uh, final product. So we're getting close, guys. Not too much longer, and we will have bread in our mouths. And you know how I'm gonna eat this bread? With a little bit of cinnamon and sugar, because I love some sugar on my bread, cuz. If you like my cooking videos, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Also, comment down below and say, we like your cooking videos and we want to see you cook all the time. Just let me know. It's that simple. I've been very patient. But anyways, it's time to put these in the oven! Yay! So we're gonna set the oven to about 350. We're gonna throw them in there for roughly 30 minutes. You'll know they're done when you uh, hit them and they're a little hard on top. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna throw these in and then uh, we're getting close to getting done. I'm ready to put some uh, cinnamon sugar, salt sugar, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon sugar and uh, eat them, so let's throw these in the oven. And we're ready, brah! We've got bread! I did something good! So now we just gotta take them out of there and put them in on something to cool down. But uh, it's dog. And here's your finished product. We're gonna crack these things open and put some butter and some cinnamon and some sugar on them and shove them in our mouth. So give me a minute. We're gonna let them cool down and then we're gonna do that. And I give you bread! Woo! Really Here's the first cut. Oh boy, that's like silky butter smooth right there. Except for I can't get the bottom cut out. There we go. Ooh, that's bread. Okay, so we're gonna be trying this bread. Here we go. It's really good. It's really good, guys. So be sure to try this at home and uh, make yourself some bread for if you get stuck at home during this quarantine time. So we're gonna get straight to our verse of the day. Today's verse of the day is Matthew 6 and 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Simple enough, guys. Make your bread, stay home, be safe, and don't get sick. Later. Go. I have you, I got you. I'm gonna cut all that.